Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are in Winter Park, Florida, and we are adding some additional drainage to a job that we just finished. What we're going to do is we're going to hook up the downspout drains, front, sorry, back and front, and we're going to send them all the way out to the street. So, a real simple project for the do-it-yourselfer. Cut the sod, dig the trench, lay your pipe, and you're done. So I've already cut the sod and laid out my plastic. Remember, we like to set our dirt on the plastic down here in the south because of this grass. This is a St. Augustine or some type of a centipede grass, and the sand is really difficult to uh, get cleaned up. So if you put it on plastic, you just pour it right back in your trench when you're done. A real good project for the do-it-yourselfer. You know, this will take you a couple of hours, but save you a couple thousand dollars. So, you know, if you're interested in doing these type of projects and saving some money, check out the rest of the videos on the website and you'll learn how to do it. It's really simple. So basically, like any other trench that I've shown you how to dig, we work backwards. You've got your sod off. Now we're just gonna take the shovel, sink it down, you know, one shovel deep, set the dirt on one side, and we work backwards. Then we come back and we clean out the line. A lot of roots in this little section, but it comes right out. So we'll work backwards about 10 or 15 feet, or five feet, whatever you want. <laughs> then, you just come back with your body weight, put the shovel against your body, and just push it. And this is gonna clean out that trench to the proper level every time, I promise. So you'll repeat this process you know, through your whole trench and within a matter of 20-30 minutes you'll have this done. Notice that it's just dawn and it's because we are here in Florida, it's extremely humid, extremely hot, try to get things started before it gets too bad. Okay, so we've got the trench dug, you can see the soil sitting on one side, the sod sits on the other. We're down about, oh maybe 12 inches or so, a shovel and a half deep. Some of the questions people ask me, um, you know, what do you do about an irrigation line, the sprinkler line. Well, you've got three choices. <laughs> One, ideally, you go over top of it, but usually it's right where you want to be, and that's not going to happen. Two, you dig down and go under it, so you can see how I've tunneled under that. If you do that, remember, the rest of your trench, as it goes out and discharges, also has to go deeper. The third option is, of course, to cut the sprinkler, and then what I do is make a, a U to come up over and back down. It doesn't hurt the sprinkler, it's under pressure, but the pipe can be right there. So that brings up the final question people ask, you know, why do we dig by hand? Well, we called and got all the utilities located, but they do not uh, locate the irrigation lines. So we would end up cutting all of the sprinkler line and the control lines, which are really hard to repair. So it's just easier and faster to dig by hand. Okay, so we're going to hook up, there's a pipe here, this is from the sump pump. And we're going to bring that into the 4 inch line and let it be carried away. This line is going to turn and come over here and we'll attach this downspout drain. There will be a T here and we're going to pick up the downspout drain in the back. That line is just going to come right through that bed and come straight down and tie in. Again. A really simple project. I know it looks involved, but I've been here 20 minutes and I've already dug this entire section of the trench. It goes really quick and it's a great project for the do-it-yourself. So again, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I've been here about 25 minutes and I've already explained to you a couple things, but just to take a look. Yeah, I get hot and sweaty. So will you. But we've got the bulk of this trench already dug. It's a shovel deep, a little bit more. Set your dirt out on tarps, sod on the other side, and this is a really great project. We're going to run 4 inch solid, ADS corrugated, and don't let people tell you that you cannot clean the line because you can. We clean it every day. This is a very strong material. It's as strong as the thin wall PVC, especially when it's underground. The cable goes through the line, whether it goes through PVC or through corrugated, makes no difference. If that line is broken or collapsed, you can't get through it. But I promise you that this line is cleanable. 
Okay, so we've got our trench dug. We laid out our pipe, as you can see here. <clears throat> now we're ready to go ahead and do a little bit of plumbing. Tie some downspouts together, tie in the sump pump line, and then we'll cover this up. And we're all done. So we've got a downspout coming from right there, sump pump, and another downspout in the rear, back here. We'll just plumb all that together, cover it up, and we're done. Wow, is it hot. <laughs> okay, so we've got the sod back on, and <clears throat> we have actually a discharge here, our pop-up pump. Downspout drains come to that point. Here in Florida, where it rains every afternoon, this little bit of excess sand that I've scraped over onto the trench, that will all settle and disappear in the first rain. So, added the downspout drains and also connected that sump pump, and this should be really good to go. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Up next, what's the most important drain in your rainwater draining system? Don't forget about live help, video consultation via Skype, Sign up online.